Hi everybody, welcome to Drinks Dude. I'm Tim, and today we're talking all about shandies. Now, everybody loves a shandy, even people who don't admit it. It's a fizzy soft drink, it's delicious beer, it's the best of both worlds. It's refreshing, it's lovely. We're here at a beer festival in East London where we've got access to some of the greatest beers in the world. We're gonna use these to make you three awesome craft shandies. So the classic shandy is a lager shandy. Lager and lemonade, that's it. Clean, refreshing, delicious. So we're starting with a lager shandy as well. And you may have heard of the lagerita. Well, this is a lagerito. We're gonna take that classic lagerita formula and add some fresh mint. So we're gonna start with that. We get the mint leaves off of about three sprigs of mint. Fresh mint there. And we're gonna add to that some explosively delicious fizzy Sicilian lemonade. We're going to muddle this with our beer hammer. Get all those oils out of that mint. There we go. Add a little bit more lemonade. And then an equal measure of Kona Longboard Island Lager. A classic American lager with a touch more hops than you might expect from your typical shandy. The garnish, just an extra sprig of mint. Stir it up and enjoy. Now that is exactly what you want in a shandy. Right, let's try that again. Mm. Now that ticks all the boxes. It's a very classic shandy flavor. It's got a little bit of something extra, something lifting from that mint. And it's really a crowd pleaser. I don't know anybody who wouldn't like that. And frankly, I don't want to know anybody who wouldn't like that. It's delicious. So this shandy is called the usual suspects because it uses, of course, the yuzu fruits, which has a fabulous aroma. It's a Japanese hybrid citrus fruit. And we're gonna start with the juice. Now you can get Yuzu juice at big supermarkets these days. It's got a lovely acidity and a fantastic aroma. We're gonna add a good glug of that. To that, we're gonna add one part grapefruit soda and an equal part Lagunitas IPA. Now the idea here is that we get a grapefruity bitterness from the hops in the beer and a grapefruity sweetness from the soda. When they come together, it sort of tastes like drinking a fresh grapefruit. Now, just for something extra, a few dashes of chili sauce. It's gonna make this really invigorating. So we'll give that a stir. And finally, to get that yuzu aroma in full and really drive it home, we've got some peel of the fresh yuzu fruits and all those aromatic oils in there are gonna be that, they're gonna be absolutely lovely. Oh uh, yeah, that's exactly, that's spot on. That is so refreshing. It's bittersweet, it's grapefruity, there's something tropical about it. And that little chili kick in there, it's mouth-watering. It, it sort of makes you want to come back for more. Fantastic. For our last shandy, we're using a beer from By the Horns, a brewery in South London. We call it a sour and stormy twist on the classic rum cocktail, the dark and stormy. We're gonna start with sour to the people. This is a light, refreshing, very straightforward sour beer from By the Horns. You can use any similar sour beer you have. We're gonna go with about two parts of that, followed by some nice fiery ginger beer, about one part of that. Don't overdo it, but if you taste it, you think it needs more, go ahead and add it. For a touch of fruity sweetness, some sparkling clementine juice, just a splash. We're then going to add a slice of lime. Just to lift that fruity acidity a bit more. Give it a swirl and enjoy. 
Oh yeah, that really works. I love ginger beer and I love fiery ginger beer in particular. But even the fiery stuff's usually a little bit too sweet for me and that tartness from the beer really just takes the edge off. It's so refreshing, amazing. I hope we've inspired you to make some craft shandies of your own using great craft beer and interesting ingredients. And if you like a look at these and you want to find out how to make the ultimate beer cocktail, just click here or check the description for the Lagarita recipe. And if you love good drinks and just can't get enough of them, then click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Now that is exactly what you want in a shandy. Right, let's try that again.